Okay, let's continue where we left off. Um, let's see. For the following exercise, compute the values given within 0 0.01 by deciding on the appropriate f, x, and a, and evaluating that. Check your answer on the calculator. Um, interesting. Okay. Okay, let's have a look here. Okay. Right. Um, um, let's see. They want us to do an approximation here. Okay, so 56 will take fx equals x power 6, a equal to 2, f of a equals 2 power 6, which is 64, f dash of x is, well, f dash 2 is 6 times 2 power 5, so it's 32 times 32 times 6 32 180 and uh, 192 so the linear function is uh, f of a f of a which is 64 plus x minus a so well the the well i'll just write in x minus a times the derivative 192 so 2.001 that would be 64 plus zero okay ten hundred a thousand zero one two three 0.192, so that's 64.192. Let me check the true answer. Versus 64.1922416. Okay, good. 57. Oh, well, I'm pretty sure this is just going to be uh, because... You're going to take a is 0, x is 0 0.02, and the linear approximation for sine x at 0 is x. So this would be um, saying l of 0 0.02 is equal to 0 0.02 versus... Zero point zero one one nine 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 eight goes on. I don't know if that's close enough because that's zero point zero zero one. Is that what they said? Yeah. Okay. Fifty eight. I think the linear function here when you approximate it is uh, equal to just one so 0 0.03 would just be 0 0.0 that would just be one versus 0 0.999555 um so we'll have to go with f of x equal to x power a quarter f of 16 
um, is 2. And that derivative of 16 is a quarter 16 power minus 3 quarters. Which is 1 over 32. So the linear approximation of 15.99 would equal 2 minus 0 0.01 times 1 over 32. <clears throat> um, which is 1.9. Nine nine six eight seven five versus one point nine 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 six eight seven four two seven. I should put the my answer in uh, red or something. All right, and then 60. Um, we'll go with one over X, but there's a, a shortcut. I think we want to say the function F of X is equal to one over one minus X, uh, where X is 0 0.02 and a is equal to zero. The linear approximation here um, is one plus x. So when you differentiate, I, I, this is another one I, I kind of know off by heart. So that'd be 0 0.98, uh, or I mean, it would be 0 0.02, that's 1.02 versus, versus 1.020408, etc. So that's my answer. Checks out pretty well. 61. Ah, interesting. Hmm. So I think what I could say is sine 3.14. Um, the graph. It's a little bit less here, which means it'd be this point here. It would be sine 3.14 minus pi, which would be, uh, and the minus can come out. So that would be minus sine pi minus 3.14, uh, which would be approximately equal, but you make the linear approximation minus x minus pi so it's just the difference in the decimal which is 0 0.0014159265 etc versus uh, 0.0015926529166 etc so there we go. Okay, that's my answer. Let's um, check the answers at the back. 56. 57. Okay, so that looks okay. 57 matches up. That looks okay. 59. 1.9996875. That looks up. That's right. That looks okay. And then 61001593. Okay, they round it here. They 0 0.001593. Okay. Okay. For the following exercise, term the um, um, I, I, I guess it's the same. Is it? 
they just want you to calculate calculate the error okay okay well maybe i'll just leave it there for today or will i continue um Um, maybe I'll just leave it there for today, actually, because I have a headache. I'm contemplating if I want to push myself, but I'm trying to make a better effort of things. So I'll leave it there. Sorry if you're expecting a bit more. Thanks for watching.